Hello, Irene. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Very well, and you? I'm okay, thank you. Thank you, Vito. Thank you, solo déjeme que tengo un mensaje del trabajo. Okay, no problem. All right. Okay. Hi, Oscar. Hi. Good evening. Hello. Hi, everybody. How was your day today? Well, I was busy at home. Busy at home. Busy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm attending my daughters. Sorry? Attending my, my daughters. Oh, my goodness. Really? How many daughters do you have? I have two. All right. One is uh 11 okay. the other one is seven okay nice all right uh, they, drive, they drive me crazy, <laughs> they drive me crazy. <laughs> yeah i know but you only have two daughters you don't have any son no no only two daughters only two yeah i have three <laughs> okay three one daughters son. no or? one oh. son and two daughters okay yeah, my son is 16, and then the second girl is eight, and then the little one is six. 16, eight, and six. That's right. <laughs> uh, okay, the, the boy is six. 16. Ah, 16. He's the oldest, yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, he's the oldest. Yeah. Okay. They okay, keep yeah. me busy and they drive me crazy, but I guess that's life. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Okay. Very okay. good. Yeah, it's nice. Hi, Ellie. Hi, teacher. How are you, see, Ellie? Man. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you for being in class. Okay, <laughs> teacher. Okay. All right. Hi, Tessie. Yes. yes. Hi, Tessie. Hi, how are you? Fine. How are you? Let me just close the windows from the other class. I need to open your windows from this class. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. So, how was your day, Jesse? Did you teach today? Yes, I teach today in the morning. Uh huh. I teach for three grades. Oh. But I I make a a little quiz. Okay. But the student have to uh, one is comparing all the scores. Okay. In the second quarter. Oh, I get it. Okay. Yes. All right. That's only. Hmm. Then I have to make it the daily road time. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay. I get it. Okay. Very good. Let me just finish here with this. All right. So, guys, everybody okay today with everything else? I think I got everything open already. Yeah, very good. Okay, so we're like ready to start. Okay, so yesterday, guys, we remember that we watched the video that I presented to you. So we're going to keep on talking about training. If you notice this whole, um, as I said to you at the very, very beginning of the program, this uh, program is actually like English for work. Okay, so most of the topics they go about training and uh, professional development and workshops and everything. So every module or every course, they um, talk about something in specific, but through the whole course, all right? So that is why we talk about training and training and training, but that's like what they want us to like know and the vocabulary they want us to learn. So um, that is why we keep on talking about it, all right? It, we try to do it in different ways from different perspectives, but this is just for you to know that this is how it is, all right? If you notice, and as I said, yeah, I think it was yesterday, there's not so much grammar going because it's mostly that we want you guys to speak, 
to know some terms, um, to be able to understand some topics, to and pretty much to, to practice your speaking and to practice your listening when we watch a video or when we listen to like a podcast or something. So that's why I just wanted to say this to you just in case we like, okay, we keep on talking about training. Yeah, we're going to keep on talking about training pretty much the whole uh, course, but that's because that's how the book is designed. Okay. So, and as I said, we try to like uh, teach it or show it to you or present it to you in different ways or different points of view. So we can actually like talk about it pretty much is the same but from different perspectives okay so i just wanted to uh, like you guys understand that all right on the other module we're not going to talk about training we'll probably talk about something else we we i believe we talk about like generations and stuff so it's like i mean the topic thing because we know how to speak already and we can like share our points of views and stuff so i think it's interesting all right so it's a little bit different from the regular English program where you learn, you know, all the all the grammar and stuff. At this for this course, they want you to speak and to practice speaking with the, the level that you have already or the English that you know already. All right. So that's pretty much how this is structured, guys. Okay. So as uh, as we were talking about yesterday, um, and this is give me a second here. Hold on, just give me a second. Yeah. I'm just gonna see this again. All right, I'm just, let me get this for you. And let me go get the uh, video as well. So yesterday, Hold on, guys. I'm just trying to get this open for you here, but I don't know what's going on that I cannot open it. <laughs> just give me a quick second, all right? Who's listening to that music? Someone was listening to some music. Okay, I got it. Here you go. Here we go again, guys. All right. Sorry for that, but I'm here. All right. So yesterday, as I said, ah, who else came in? Ah. All right, so yesterday we watched a video and we were talking about the five W's, all right? Who remembers what are the what were the five W's that we mentioned yesterday? Yesterday, teacher. Mm -hmm. So the different reason because we need to to improve different areas. Areas, yes, of course, yeah. Areas, for example, why, what, when. Okay. Remember. All right, very good. Jesse, do you remember anything? Hi, Silvia. Why, like when, yes. why, where? Yes, I remember. Where? All right, okay, very good. Jesse and then Irene, uh-huh. Look, I remember the five W's is why mm -hmm. is the training that needed. Okay. And who are the 
are the participants. How okay. many participants uh, the employee have? Okay. Is a training context. Okay. Yeah. Este when uh, will the training take place? Okay. And where will the training be conduct conducted? Conducted. All right. Very nice. Okay. All right, nice, very good. Uh, let's see, Irene, you had your hand up. Okay, in my case, my, my opinion is that the purpose of the identified training needs is make a plan for training. Okay. Um, the 5W is about why, who, what, when, and where. Why is about the, uh, the, the person or the people uh, no, sorry, why, why is that the reason? Right, okay. Who is the, the person or the people? Mm -hmm. What is the contain? When is the the, the time? In, okay. And where is the place? Okay. About the training. All right, okay, very good. Anybody else, Oscar or Jose Luis, about yesterday's uh, training video that we saw quickly yesterday? And we're going to watch it like about now. Uh huh. Well, I recall that uh, you have to narrow your, your, mm -hmm. your, your the, with the five W's, you narrow your, your, your topic or your, your requests. Okay. Okay, you will be more specific, more specific and customized uh, training. That's right. Yes. Uh -huh. Very but well somehow, said. Yeah. Somehow, I, I didn't read the, the, today I didn't, I didn't read the, the brochure, I mean the, the the material. Yeah, okay. The, hand, the handbook. But uh, I don't know if I'm wrong, but I I saw yesterday that first you have to do the, the five W's uh -huh. because you actually, you don't, you don't decide at the beginning what, what kind of training do you want. You okay. just are like uh, determining. Determining, uh-huh. Determining the um, your, your necessities okay your necessities right. you are not so at the beginning so clear what you want right okay uh -huh. all right okay very good yeah because sometimes for example if someone asks you okay i want to i need a training for my employees and then you say okay what kind of training and you say ah you know about uh i don't know like customer service yeah but what exactly do you want to like for them to actually understand from customer service because yeah, customer service can be like very broad or very like wide topic and then you have to narrow it down, right? And the five W's will help you to determine, okay, like who's gonna be the audience, who, where is it gonna be, when, why is it taking place, right? So the five W's on deciding the type of training is very interesting and it's actually helpful, all right? Excellent, very good. Jose Luis, what about in your case? Do you remember anything about the short video that we watched yesterday? Hi, Jose Luis. Hi, Henry. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hi, teacher. I remember a, a little bit, teacher, but I, I think that the, the video is about the 5W that mm -hmm. is really important in every, in every company because right. all the all the time they need to train the employees because uh, the training determining the, the, mm -hmm. the service or product. Okay. Right. And if they want, uh, they they want a uh, a good employees, it's necessary the uh, the five W H. Okay. Very good. All right. Anybody else? Henry. Hi, Henry. Hi, teacher. By uh, I think the how do you say encargado? How do you say? Encargado. Like the one in charge, the person in charge. The person in charge in this study is human resource. Right. For uh, identify the train that what the need the employees is the tour with the employer. Right. I think because the employee is is know what is the need in the in the world okay right i get it i i hear your point very good hi moises good evening teacher good evening how are you moises 
Hi, Greg. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Moises, we're talking about the video that we showed yet we saw yesterday before, like leaving the class. Mm -hmm. Do you remember anything about it? Uh, I remember the Pi W. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, but I don't remember what are the the, the meaning of okay. every every <laughs> every W. I, I remember this. Yes. Okay. Okay. That's okay. That's fine. All right. Very good. I'm not going to ask Silvita because Silvita was not yesterday with us, but we're going to see the video again. And I want you to, I'm going to be stopping it perhaps. And then I'm going to be asking some questions if I feel that I need to do so. All right. So here it is. It's the same video that we saw yesterday. If you are going to take notes like you did yesterday, that would be very nice of you. All right. Just give me a second here so I can share the computer sound okay okay in lesson two we will unpack the process by which a trainer identifies a training need but first we must differentiate between macro and micro training needs analysis on the larger organizational scale, training needs analysis helps HR professionals understand the overarching training needs of people in the organization. When it comes to developing a training session, trainers must use a formalized process to ensure the success in training content. Guys, do you think anybody can be a trainer? Can anybody train? What do you guys say? You have to meet some requirements uh -huh. or a uh, skill or skills. Like what, Oscar? And the you said the last time you say PPT. PPT is uh, stands for. Do you know what PPT stands for? Um, no, I don't know no. what you mean. Okay, okay. It's, uh, so you have to. You have to be trained on how to teach, okay. on methodologies, All right. something like me the methodology that you right. use to, okay. to train someone. But in the but in the other hand, you have to have the, the knowledge mm. for a specific training. So both of them are are, are to to meet those uh, how to say the requirements to, right. to, okay. to give a training. Now, Oscar, if I would ask you. Mm -hmm. to give us a training on like related to your job would you be able to now i will be in because i have the i have to say technically i will be able yes. to give a training all right but, but uh, i don't have the 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 how to say the, the competences competencies yes the competencies to to for a teacher i okay. i haven't received yet a, a training uh -huh. to be a trainer <laughs> right. I, I haven't received there's there's a training to be a trainer in that's my, right in my, yes in my ah, uh -huh. oh cool all right but, uh -huh, but some someday maybe all right okay training. very good uh -huh. jesse do you think that you can i mean teaching is not the same as training people all right now, do you think you have the ability, the skills, the knowledge, everything that you need to be a trainer, Jesse? I think not, because every day that technology is changed and the uh, huh? changing in the methodologies are changes too. Okay. And I have to study again. I have to uh what receive different trainings uh -huh. for uh, for have good quality okay. but i am not finishes in the knowledge mm -hmm. i have to improve my knowledge and i don't tell you i have all the competencies okay. because each day i have to improve okay. my competence in this area Okay. It is so very different. Okay, very good. For me. 
All right, Silvia, what about you? Do you think that you have the competencies, the skills, the requirements that someone would need for you to give a training? Mm -hmm. Good evening, can Good evening. you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, I, it depends the context. Okay. I, I think uh, uh, in some topics I have the skill for okay. the training, but uh, there are other topics that I, I, I have to receive training. Okay. Uh, and I have to uh, uh, gain more experience about that. About okay. Uh, but it depends. Uh, I think everybody uh, can learn and, and, and grow up in, um, in his career, in, in different right. career or, or, or knowledge of his profession. Right, okay, I get it. All right, very good. What about Moises? Do you think you have what it takes to be a trainer? I think that 50 and 50. Okay. Because, <laughs> because I had the knowledge to give to another person and the kind of things or activity that the other person can do. But like Oscar said that we need a, a, a class or something like that, a seminar about, about a, a training. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, all right, very good. What about you, Irene? For me, teacher, the, the kind of training, it depends about the, the grade in the, in the enterprise because uh, each, each um, employee is different and needs different uh, level of training. Okay. All For right. example, uh, in, in my case, yeah. I I work uh, con, with many, many teenagers. Yeah, I I need um, training in technology, technology, technology um, um, abilities. Okay, in abilities training. All right. Uh, period, uh, of periodical way. Okay. All right. Very good. <laughs> No, but you think, uh, Irene, if you were assigned to, to train, would you be able to train someone? Like to train us, for example. Repeat the question, please. Yes. Do you think, Irene, that you would be able to train us, like related to your job? Would you be able to train us in some, like, related to your job? You think you have this skills to become a trainer? Ah, yes, because uh, in my case, I, I need many abilities okay. for share with the teenagers and with other, other, other um, joys mate. Okay. All with right. the joy, joy mate and, and the, my, my, the different boss in my organization too. Okay, all right. I get it. Okay. Now, usually, guys, who is in charge of getting hi, hi, Beto, who is in charge of getting the trainings done for you, uh, I, to send you guys to get, receive the training and all that, we already said that it's human resources. All right. Someone in the human resource department is in charge of that. Now, uh, it would be like ideal to have within the human uh, resource department someone to be in charge only related to uh, trainings, okay? No, I'm not saying that the human resource person is going to train you. I'm saying the human resource person should be like delegated to like find the right trainings for the right employees, for the right needs, all right? Sometimes that doesn't really happen in every company, right? It's not true. But some companies do have, I mean, every company they have a human resource department but not every company has someone that is specialized on getting, on getting the right training for the right employee at the right time, all right? But they, sure. yes, Jesse. Este, in my case, in, the, in my school, in some cases, I have to give a training for another teacher. 
Uh -huh. But our topic that I can develop, that you can and develop, not all right. the topic I can develop. Maybe. Okay. Because okay. Uh, the topic are different. Each people have how development mm -hmm. for each area. Right. And some areas I I can training, but not in all. All right, not not in all areas, right? And that that yes. I guess that's um that is a valid point jesse because you may know some things, as oscar also was saying you may know something really well all right but other things that you may not know really well all right but i yes. think besides or more than knowing the content is being able to express yourself and being able to train others because i don't know if you guys have ever gone to a training that you are thinking okay, this guy is making me fall asleep, all right? So that's an ability and that is a skill that someone that is in front of you has to have, all right? Because not everybody is, like we say in Spanish, eloquent enough, all right? Sometimes they actually like make you fall asleep out of boredom because you're like, oh my goodness, when is this gonna end, all right? And sometimes you find some trainers that you say, oh man, you know, I, I was here all day and I did not feel the day go by. All right. So it, it's actually a skill mm -hmm. that the must have in order to make this training worthwhile. All right. Mm -hmm. So let's keep on listening to the video here. Hi, Williams. Welcome to class. Nice to see you. All right. Very good. Let's keep on uh, listening. Here's the same uh, video that we were listening to yesterday, uh, Williams. Okay. That is the process that we will explore in this lesson. The purpose of identifying training needs is to help you plan for your training. What was the purpose of identifying training needs? Did you hear that? Guys? Did it's you hear what the purpose for is? To, it's tell me for be a training. All right, listen again, listen again. The purpose of identifying training needs is to help you plan for your training. Uh-huh. It helps you plan for the training, all right? That is why it's important to identify training needs because if you identify them, it's going to help plan the training that is needed, all right? Let's keep on listening. A successful training needs analysis will identify those who need training and what kind of training is needed. Ah, did you listen to that? Can you guys rephrase that? Rephrase what, what kind I of said? analysis? What kind of training? What kind, yeah. Yeah. What kind of training? So if the analysis is good, then mm -hmm. the outcome is going to be good. All right, let's listen. listen Successful listen. training needs analysis will identify those who need training and. So it's going to identify the what those who need the training and the type of training. All right, that's why. Uh, identifying the training needs or an analysis of the training needs is very very important okay so this guys is like um i think it's going to help you to understand when you're sent to a training you can say oh, okay so i guess you have to feel that whoever is sending you he or she made an analysis of the training needs and then they about saying okay so oscar is going to go irene is going to go Jess is not going to go because it's not the target that I want to uh, get to. All right, so that's important. What kind of training is needed? At the core of effective training session design is a clear understanding and definition of training needs. An effective training session depends on the trainer knowing what is required by the individual, the department, and the organization. All right, so here the guy that is going to be training you guys he or she needs to have a clear like mind of what the department wants, what the company wants, what the manager wants, and what the uh, train trainers, I mean the trainee it needs or wants, all right? So they need to understand everything. To gain some clarity on the practical application of training needs analysis, let's take a look at a situation you might encounter as a trainer. You are a human resource professional in a small organization. While interacting with a manager from your organization, you're asked to develop a course on water safety. 
let's see. Um, Oscar, if you, if someone comes to you and says, okay, Oscar, I know this has nothing to do with your job, but that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's the challenge. <laughs> All right. Okay. And they say, okay, Oscar, so you're going to train us. Okay. You're going to train your classmates. All right. On water mm -hmm. safety. What comes to your mind when you say water safety? Okay. What would you teach us? Wow. Um, it's, uh, yesterday, I recall yesterday we were listening to this uh, or watching this video. Right. And uh, the water safety is a very wide uh, topic. Uh, topic. It's a very wide uh, topic. It could be uh, water safety on, on swimming on lakes, swimming on at the sea, right? Swimming on rivers, okay. or swimming in a swimming in a public pool, okay. or or deportive uh, swimming. Okay. It, it could be water safety. Um, how to ensure <laughs> the uh, the amount of the water that you will have on on, on summer? Okay. Uh -huh. Sure. Well, that could be. It could be. Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. All uh, right. What are safety for for the for the animals or for right I mean for 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 fish and seals you know all right because if the water is, is so contaminated there will be dead fish or right. stuff like that. It's yeah. too, it's it very, could be anything it could be right. anything. Yeah. yeah it could be anything all right uh -huh. hi norma welcome to class on gerardo as well nice to see you all right verito if someone comes to you and says, okay, Vero, you are going to train your classmates, and this is the topic, okay? It has nothing to do with what you really do, Vero, all right? So if someone comes to you and says, okay, you are going to train your classmates about violence, what comes to your mind when you hear violence? Mm -hmm. Because violence is huge, all right? General. It's very general. So what do you, well, someone, okay, I come to you and say, okay, Vero, you're teaching about violence. What do you, what comes to your mind? Uh, I don't know, teacher, but first of all, I think it's, um, for example, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, it could be uh, try to, teach at the classmate uh, how, uh, how, is, how is growing the violence in the country. Okay. Uh, identify the violence, for example, in, the, in, an, in a specific territory and, okay. for example, determine what place there are a violence and I don't know I'm not sure okay. okay right very good okay Williams is if they come to you and say okay William teach about violence what comes to your mind like what do you want to I mean which kind of violence would you teach well uh, <laughs> we have a lot of type of bio violence but um, the some topics uh, in in our culture, uh, maybe can be uh, femicidal violence. All right, like violence like, against women. Yeah, or sexual violence. All right. And domestic violence too. All right, uh, yes. Yeah, right. and sexual violence. Right. Yeah, so I, I think uh, it's very important to teach about that. Right. Okay, so so you see when we say or the video was saying water safety, violence, those topics are huge, all right? So you need to narrow it down to very specific uh, topic, all right? Okay, so are you going to talk about violence like against women? Are you going to talk about domestic violence? Are you going to talk about sexual violence? So you can narrow it down to get to the right audience, all right? To get to the right employee in this case, all right? Now, if you are to teach about, if I come up to you, Normita, and I say, okay, Norma, so you're teaching about technology, or are you training your classmates about technology? What comes to your mind when you listen to technology? Because that's huge. That can be anything. Teacher. Yes? Uh, 
What are shameful is a idioms for me. I think that is an idioms. What are safety? Yes. Okay. It's one idiot that uh, USA use that idiot for tell that the people is matching matching the different skill that they have or they have to develop. Okay. All right. I think in that. <laughs> okay. All right. Interesting. Very good. Thank you, Jesse. Okay, Norma, if I tell you, okay, you're teaching. Hi, Jenny. If you're teaching about technology, what comes to your mind, Jen? Uh, Norma? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. I have a problem with my uh, connect yeah. to Zoom. All right. But you're here with us, Jenny. That's nice. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh -huh, Normita, what do you uh, say? In the case of the technology, had a, a lot of uh, topics. Right. Uh, if you try to, to teach uh, for uh, homes, that basically is using the internet, mm -hmm. using the computer, basic okay. computer, mm -hmm. and the software, the basic software, the computer and cell phone or ta tablet, uh, have in in the in that moment because okay. remember that technology updated each one six months or year and the people need to, to teach about it for using that that uh, device okay in the case of that the war uh, the technology is related to the the um, the the budget that company have for cell phone, for computer, and for software. And depending the the, um, the type of, of factories have a different software and different uh, hardware and different application too. Okay. In, in our case, the, the type is manufacturing. Right, yeah. We, we need to, to give us a technology related to control the product, the process by a step in, in the all the, the, the process into warehouse to exportation. Export, okay. And each department has a different software and different uh, device using to control the production in all the process okay and and the people need to teach according to the department requirements okay the needs right all right okay all right we are just to be like given those topics like water uh safety like uh, technology violence then as we already said the topic is really wide all right and we need to narrow it down all right because it can be just about anything so this that's why this guy on the video was giving us that example all right let's just listen to it again so let's discuss this water safety training you're asked to develop a training course on water safety what kind of training might the person be asking for Press pause now and complete this activity in your seminar workbook. When you're completed, press play to continue the seminar. The point of this exercise is to highlight that the requester could be asking for a number of different training needs. Maybe to teach a group of people how to swim or how to operate watercraft safety on a lake. Identifying the subject of the training was difficult in this case. Now imagine identifying the information needed to design the course well. After clarifying the subject of training need, think about the basic information you will need to create a successful training session for your audience. Now let's discuss information needed a little bit more. Following your observations from our last discussion, what kind of information do you need to develop this training? Press pause now and complete this activity in your seminar workbook. When you have finished, press play to continue your seminar. Here are the five W's of training needs analysis. The why, who, what, when, and where. These five elements are Now, do you think these five W guys are like important when, this, when getting the uh, needs 
of training. Okay. Do they make sense? Of course, of course. All right. So which one do you think is more important or are all of them important? All of them because uh, where uh, maybe you're limited by by the by the company not to send people out to, for ah, training okay. abroad for, for training okay when maybe you have a deadline all right to, to train these people and what and what is actually the content uh -huh. the content the, yeah the, the, the oh. uh, inaccurate content well and who and why yeah well you already you already right, know who right. and why <laughs> <laughs> right, right, okay. But it is important to know the who because I mean, some people might say, okay, I may send everybody, all right, and I think that is a mistake because not everybody is going to need that training. That's why the needs analysis or the uh, focusing on the needs of a training is really important because not everybody needs that type of training and you need to like have that clear, all right? Not everybody's going to be able to or they are not, you're not satisfying their needs or accomplishing their needs because you're just sending everybody, right? Also, I think I'm gonna, I like, let's see this. All right, so uh, Henry, if someone says, if your manager says to you, all right, Henry, there is a training going on that I want you to go to, all right? It's not mandatory, but if you want to, you can go. But it's a, uh, it's on the weekend all day all right all like all saturday all sunday all right you henry del cid would you say oh, okay i can go saturday and sunday no problem i'm not gonna be with my family i'm not gonna work i'm not gonna get okay. hours but i'm gonna go would you go honestly speaking henry <laughs> yes yes i go all right I go because it's for my development skill all right. Yes, I mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now, uh -huh. but it the, depends on the subject too, because right. if the subject is no enough for me, maybe I, the, I stay, I'm my manager. Okay. I know go. So it would depend on the content of the training then. Yeah. Yes, All it right. depends on the content. All right. This is a question for everybody and whoever wants to answer it, and I, and I hope everybody participates. Do you guys care when the training takes place? I mean, doesn't really matter to you when on like which day, what hour, how long? Like if it's up to you, you're not being sent like uh, like mandatory. They tell you, okay, there's a training. If you want to, you can go. All right. But it's on a very tough schedule that, for example, if you don't work weekends, it's gonna be the whole weekend and you're not gonna be you're not going to have it off. You're not going to be able to be with your family. You're not going to be able to go to the beach. All right. I mean, we're not thinking about this situation right now with the COVID-19 that we cannot go anywhere anyway. Uh, let's, let's think about the normal scenario, all right? Do you mind? I mean, would you still go anyway? Or you say, um, no, I'm not going to go because it's on the weekend. Or no, I'm not going to go because it's at night. Or no, I'm not going to go because I don't know. Would you guys go? Depend. I mean, would it make any difference on when it is, mm. guys? Anybody? Make uh, me teacher. Yes, Jenny. In my case, when I was uh, beginning to the to study English, I I I went to class all weekend, Saturday ah. and Sunday and Sundays. Okay. Yes. Yes, when I when I beginning in mm -hmm. class. Okay. And really, I have a time. Okay. To all weekends, and I have any any training or any any classes about the the, the whatever topic, for example, um, informatica. Uh huh. Computers. Yes, mm -hmm. computers. Sorry, computers. I study um, uh, Windows. Uh huh. 
bueno, to uh, actual, to, how do you say actualizar? To, to update yourself. To update myself. And after I have a class to English at All that right. moment, but I have a class to English all night, 8 to, to 10 p.m. All right. Yes, it's no problem. Okay, for me. so for you, it's not a problem, Jenny, all not, right? Not a problem. Okay, so you work all week, but it's okay that you had your trainings, in this case, English classes and computer classes during the weekend. It was okay for you? Yes. Excellent. It's all right, okay. very good. No okay, problem. nice. All right, what about the rest? Do you guys mind whenever the training is or you go anyway? Oh, teacher, you know, a long time ago, I was, when I was uh, 17, uh -huh. yesterday, yesterday, Oscar. <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> um, I was working for a, for a big company. I started to work for a big company. Okay. And they, my boss required me to attend a training on my free day. Okay. Uh, I didn't rest. I didn't have the, my free days on weekends. Okay. So it, it would be, how to say, if I had a Wednesday free day yes, to attend, okay. a, attend a training on that day. Right, okay. And I, and I did. So Wednesday did. was your day off. Aha. Uh Aha, -huh. uh -huh, and I was so naive, maybe. Naive. <laughs> because was a, there was a, a big company. And then uh, there was a guy who came after me because I I left the company. Okay. I, I, I quit. You I quit. quit. Yeah, you quit. Yeah. Quit. Uh -huh, quit. I quit. Um, and the guys that like, there was a friend of mine. Okay. That guy, that guy came after after me to the same position. All right. And he and he negotiates. He ah. said, No, I'm not. I'm not attending training on my day off. Day off. Okay. On my day off. So and he did, and he succeeded on that. So okay. I was uh, maybe so naive for that, right. or but but you have to to see the context, right? The yes. context because it depends on what kind of company you are. Right. Do they have a union? Right. Uh, do they do they hate the unions or do they <laughs> fight the unions? Right. Okay. Or do they? It, it, it depends on the context. All right. Okay. Context Very good. You are. But now, it's not uh -huh. good to work on the on to, I, I disagree. I strongly disagree. Okay. With uh, attending trainings. Okay. On your day off. Okay. On your day off. All Train. Right. But on the other hand, uh, formal education, like uh, go, uh, going to the university. Right. Or or you or or any particular how to say interest i mean right. a hobby or something okay it's not related to the company all right you have to do it on your day on, on your, your days day off. off all right on your spare time uh -huh. okay just training right. just training training sure. to oh. the company all right very good uh -huh. interesting nice all right normita you had your hand up yes teacher uh, in, our, in my case i take a training in weekends mm -hmm. On weekends, mm -hmm. uh -huh. but uh, when the training was related to my updated position mm -hmm. and the in specific certification or in specific career, okay, it you know, improve my skills, okay, and and I don't have problem with with us uh, go to to the the weekends for right. take that that class, okay. But All the right. company, when the seminar or, or trainees uh, was improving in the weekend, no have a, a imposition or a, a obligation. Right. Because uh, previous, they make an invitation. Uh -huh. and, and the, the employees have a... Uh, uh, five days in uh, when they can organize the, the, the agendas. Mm -hmm. If they take a space, they respond the agree or disagree in okay. the box. Okay. It means you can vote and you ah, can all right. or agree or no. Okay. 
when they had all the people said yes, they make a list and they uh, give the invitation formally. Mm. We can also people uh, like it, take that training. Okay, all right. Because okay. Remember when the companies uh, make a contract with an enterprise, they have negotiate the the spaces okay for the participants and part for the participants for the, know, for the participants the participants and when the people no go out the the company mm. lost the money right yeah they that, that space and the people don't don't go in right there. okay all right interesting all right in the case of ellie larine and jesse that are teachers the you girls teach from Monday through Friday in your schools and you are sent to a training on Saturday and Sunday. Do you mind going or you don't care? I mean, you're okay with that, Eli, Larin, and Jesse. Okay, I'm talking about uh -huh. in, my, in my case, I go. Okay. Because the, the principal gives me options okay. that you want or you but in my case, I, I love the, uh, I don't know, actualization. The updates, yes. The updates, update, yes. yes. I, I love the updates. Okay. And I take all the course that the company gives me. Okay. In, in the year, I, I receive about 11, 12 ah, courses okay. in different areas and cool. human areas. Okay. And another is a uh, more practical area. Right, for example, right. okay. uh, I work in a school, but uh, my principal uh, sent me to learn primero auxilios. Oh, all right, first aids. Very good. Yes because they need for helping to the students of course and i i started to some truth about psychology psychology oh wow okay yes and, and another is in spanish because english don't know the word liderazgo leadership yes Le leadership, leadership. Ah, that is right. that is so important okay. and i received that course in costa rica and this is so very interesting. Cool. All right. Well, yes. if I, I if I am sent to another country, I don't mind any time I can go. But <laughs> All right. <laughs> very good. Yes. All right. It's so very nice. All right. Very it's good. So okay. Very good. What about the rest of you guys? When you're sent to a training and it's on your day off or on your weekends, do you mind going or it's okay for you? For Vero, mm. Silvia, Nubia, Henry, mm. uh huh. Mm. Yes, Silvita. Hi. In my case, uh, I prefer uh, to see training in Saturdays. On Saturdays, okay. Sunday is for me a time for rest. Okay. Uh, time for my family. But right. If it's necessary to receive that for because my my boss uh, tell me that I I go. You go. All right. Uh, I, I prefer training online. In, ah, in, all right. <laughs> in, yeah. Yes. Uh, many courses. Uh, it's okay for me. And okay. No matter the the, the time. Okay. Uh, uh, the, the, uh, I want to. Uh, in my, a friend tell me, are you crazy? Why don't you <laughs> uh, study 10 p.m.? You find okay. for rest. Ah, uh, right. uh, okay. So, uh, I say, no, for me it's okay. I like it. Uh, All right, okay, interesting. No. All right, Henry, you have, thank you, Silvia. Very good, Henry, yes, tell us. Teacher, I am not For me, I prefer in the way. Okay. Because when I go in the way, I don't go for, I don't go, I'm at work. Okay, you I don't call go to at my work. work. Okay. 
I prefer buy in the in the weekend. I prefer in the Saturday in the morning. Right. Okay. For Saturday morning. Uh -huh. <laughs> All yeah. right. Yes. Okay. Better. All right. Very nice. Interesting. What about Williams, Gerardo, Jose Luis, Moises, Eli, Vero? Okay. Uh -huh, Aha, Williams. As I have food and coffee, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Interesting. All right. Cool. All That's right. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> So it doesn't matter for you as long as there is coffee and bread. Coffee all the time. <laughs> all right. Okay. Yes. In my go. case, in my case, I don't mind. But okay. if I have something to do more important, yes, I do mind. Okay. But in fact, I'm going to take a seminary, seminary taxes. Oh. This Saturday. Okay. Oh my goodness. Start this Saturday and uh -huh. finish the first. October Saturday. Oh but, my goodness! Okay. But I usually take French class. Yeah, you told Saturday me. Yeah. And um, afternoon Saturday. And oh my goodness! Case, the seminary interferes with the class. Oh no, I, Vero! Aha. Uh -huh. I don't have other other option but mm. take the seminar, and okay. I, for that for that reason, I just stop the the, the French classes. And I'm going to take the seminar class. Right, okay. Yeah, I see your point. Very good. Yes. All right. All right, what about Gerardo, Moises, Eli? Aha, uh -huh, guys. Do you mind taking? Hi, Gerardo. Yes, uh, Eli. For, for me. Okay, Gerardo uh, and then Eli. Yes, that's okay. Uh, for me, teacher, and uh, uh, when I was uh, requesting a course of sting, stinging fires and they used the tank, Okay. And it was a Sunday all oh, day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. I love to put out fires and when oh. I was still, I my dream my dream was to be a, a firefighter. Fire oh no, Gerardo. Yes. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, for me it depends the the training or uh -huh. course. Right. Uh, but if if it was a opportunity Oh, right. Again. Okay. Uh, All right. Yes. Okay. okay. Interesting. Very good. Okay, Eli. Thank you, Gerardo. Eli, Larin. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Um, well, in my case, it's similar from Yesenia. Um, the course is uh, about the topic. Pedagogical, ped yeah, pedagogical topics. Uh -huh. Pedagogical topic, um, but in my case is the is the week okay. from Monday from Monday to Friday to, to Friday. Okay. Because it, because is in the college, uh -huh. um, there are uh, pausa pedagogica. Yeah, there's like a stop. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. There's a stop. Entonces, okay. Yes, because ah, it's, yeah. it's more more easy for me. It's easier for you, yeah. That, that the weekend we can right. don't, don't don't have or don't receive course. Right. Okay. Okay. I see, Eli. Very good. Interesting. Very good. What about the rest, guys? Do you mind going on weekends or on your day off, or you don't mind? As William says, as long as there is coffee and bread, he is fine. <laughs> Teacher. Yes, Irene. Uh, teacher, in, in my case, I prefer the training uh, offline. Online. Online. For, cool. for me, it's better. For you, it's better. But no coffee and no bread. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind. <laughs> All right, okay. No, but you know what, Irene, and, and I think it was Sylvia, the one that said it. Now, because... Na now even more than before because of this pandemic thing and the COVID-19, but many, many more courses or many more trainings are gonna be happening online now because of this whole situation, all right? But you know what? It's interesting because here now, right now, it was a boom right now with Zoom and with all these um, apps and all these platforms. Uh, that everybody is using because we cannot go out, all right, because of this uh, situation of the COVID-19. But in other countries, 
receiving courses online or receiving uh, trainings online, they were like doing them already, all right? So for us, it's kind of new. And for some of us, it's newer than for others, all right? But yeah, I guess sí, like from sí, now. Yeah, yeah, for me, it's, it's a new experience. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's yes. a new experience because I, uh, I'm, not a, I'm not accustomed to, to, to be online. Right, yes. But, uh, it's okay, it's okay. I, I, we have the chance in this pandemic times. Right. We I have mean, the chance to do it in this way. Right. And some people find it better because they are at home. Uh -huh. Or like they can take it either late at night or really early in the morning or whenever the time is best for you. All right. So they have those flexibility schedules or those flexible schedules. So for some people, it's better to take online courses. But it's a matter of getting used to it. I, I, we started teaching online three years ago. And at the beginning, it was difficult for me because it's like, okay, I'm in front of the computer and I don't have my markers and I don't see the people, you know? So I was like, oh my goodness, I don't like this, right? That was three years ago. Now I really like, I, I actually like teaching online because it's a different style, different way of doing it, all right? So, but it's, it's this is what we have now. And I think most of the trainings now are gonna be like online because of this whole situation. And as we know, this is not going to end tomorrow, all right? This COVID-19 is here and is for a while. Teacher. Yes, Jesse. I, I didn't like teach class online because in the first class, I talking alone and <laughs> I feel so crazy. <laughs> but, yeah, it's different. Yeah, it's very it's different. It's so difficult because <laughs> it's... It, I'm saying you are talking with the people and <laughs> it's different to talk with a, a machine. Right, I And know. you feel so, I, I feel so, I don't know, uh, yeah. crazy in some moments and <laughs> a, another moments I, I feel, what with a robot? <laughs> talking along with the but, computer yeah it's so difficult but you know what you see that's why it's very important to like have like everybody with their cameras on because you can see you can actually yes. communicate like this you know i can see you know you guys yes. and i can see your faces you go like this or you smile or you go like this so that's like the that's how the communication flows but if you have your cameras off, it's more difficult. And then you feel like you're talking to yourself because you don't know if someone is behind the computer on the other side and you're thinking, Normita, Normita, are you there, right? Of course, Norma is there, right? But yeah, it's very difficult. It's a very new experience for everybody, for the one that is giving the training and for, for the ones that are receiving the training, all right? So now when we talk about the five W's, we were talking about the time, like when, and now we can talk about the where, and this is what Sylvia was saying. Now, many of the trainings, and she likes trainings online, now the where is gonna be on your computer, all right? Or on the machine, or on your cell phone, or on your laptops, all right? Because of this whole situation, and we need to adapt to those changes, all right? I guess you know, it's gonna be, yes? No, I, I felt the, the same like uh, Giselle. Uh-huh. But but uh, with people that uses the the, the masks, uh -huh. ah. people using masks because uh, you don't see any facial facial uh, expression, yeah. facial right. expression. Yeah, it's, it's difficult. It's, this is like a, it's, it's it's quite similar when someone is not uh, using the camera. Right. So you <laughs> you you feel like uh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, I found, yeah, Verito, no, I, Moisés, you feel like a, Gerardo, uh -huh. José Luis, turn it on. <laughs> you, are, you don't know if you're talking to Yeah, to we don't know if they you are feel there. Like a bot. So, yeah. You feel like a bot or you're talking to a bot and, you know, or or when someone answers, a, like when, when a bot answers you, your emails. Right. You are, you say, you request information of something and then you receive a message. Right. And actually it's, it's, it's just a bot. It's, Right. So yeah. Impressive. Yeah, I know it is. At the beginning, you find it that way. All right, guys, I'm gonna take the attendance. Tell us right. how.
Sorry, Jenny? No, teacher. <laughs> my sound. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm like, Jenny, what? <laughs> All right, I'm going to take attendance right now, guys. Uh, Nancy Elizabeth Larin Chavez. Present. Eric Alirio Perez Diaz. Eric is not in today. Oh, no. Neither, and Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez is not in either. Henry Vladimir del Cid Tepas. Present, teacher. Jose Luis Rivera Gutierrez. Present, teacher. Moisés Eduardo Alas Roque. Present. Oscar Armando Bonilla Flores. Present. Cruz Yesenia Maldonado Tejada. Present, teacher. Diana Gabriela Hernández Morales. That's not in today. Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. All right. Um, Williams Alexander Rodriguez Argueta. Present. Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar. Jennifer Carolina Costa Bonilla. Present. Gerardo Daniel Gómez Rodríguez. Present. Norma Araceli Rivera Rivera. Present. Elizabeth del Carmen Salguero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Silvia Marisol Villalta Martinez. Present, teacher. Verónica Lisset Soto Serna. Present. And Nubia Araceli Cortez Amaya. Teacher, I miss you. I miss you. Irene, no la mencioné, Irene. No. Francisca Irene Lima Hernández. <laughs> Thank you. All right. And Nubia Araceli. Nubia, ahí está. Hola, hola. Nubia. Ah, creo que no me oye. No puede el micrófono o algo. I don't know. No. All right. Okay. Very good, guys. All right. So let's. Um, oops. No, 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 no. What am I doing? No. Forget it. What did I do? I did something. Niños, no sé qué hice. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know what I did. All right, very good. Okay, guys, so here. Uh, so those, are, those were the five W's, so we just recall them again. For you to, like, remember them, we were talking about the why, the who, the what, the when, and the where. They are very important. Now, because of this COVID-19, maybe um, online everything that we do or most of what we do. Yes, Irene, you had something to say? Ah, okay, very good, all right. So that, that is why I wanted to show you this. And then I'm gonna take you to this, what we have for you here. All right, so this is what we have here today. Sorry, guys, I just need to get this open here. It's this one here. Why is it there? That's because, let me just, hold on, guys, a second, I'm trying to get this going here. cannot get this open. Why not? All right. Let's try now. There you go. Okay. So here we have basic elements to consider when selecting a training option. Okay. So this is like what we do today. This is like the topic for tonight. Basic elements to consider when selecting a training option. Okay. So here, this is what I found uh, for you guys. And it's right here. See, these are things that you need to like take into account, all right, when taking like basic elements to consider. One of them is your professional career goals, all right, or the objective you want to get. 
the what learning outcomes do you want to achieve all right what skills do you want to learn what date and time will suit you and what location is right for you if you notice here is very related to the five w's all right which one can we relate to the first w of why remember we had five w's why who where when what and what all right so what would be the first one that it says here what are your professional career goals which 5w would be the best one the what the for when why I, for why i thinking is what learning outcome do you want to achieve for why yes because why is is a training that neither all right okay very good what about the first one? What are your professional career goals? Is that the what, the why, the when, the who? Why? You who? think it's the why or the who or both? The who. It's the why. Why? Yeah. The why. Yeah. All right. Now, Jenny, are your professional career goals the same as mine? I don't understand you, teacher. All right. Yes. Okay. I, I asked you, Jennifer, are your professional career goals the same as my professional career goals? Goals. Or objectives? Oh. Are your career goals or objectives the same as mine? Or the same as Irene's or the same as Oscar or the same as uh, Henry? Are they the same? Is oh, yes. no. All right, okay. So is the first one, what are your professional career goals more the who than the, the who? why? Who? Uh, it would be the who. What are your for professional, uh-huh. Yes, for me, who, uh, to teacher. Right, yes, it would be the who, like, because it, my professional career goals are not the same as Henry, all right? Is yeah. For you is what? No. All right, very good. What about what skills do you want to learn? For me, teacher, is why. Okay. All right, very good. Why what about professional career goals? Okay, very good. What date and time will suit you? What date and time will suit when. you? Five W. When. Okay, when. the when, the when, right? And what location is right for you? Is where. It's where. All right. Where? Can you do me a favor, guys? Can you take a picture of this? Ready? Yes. Okay. So what to do? I'm gonna send you to your groups right now. Think about the the job that you actually do. All right. Now I want you to share with your partner. For example, if I'm working with uh, Norma, then Norma, you're gonna ask me, okay, Jessica, what are your professional career goals? Okay, so I, I have to tell you what my professional, my own professional career goals are in general, eh, Norma, okay? Then number two, what learning outcomes do you want to achieve when getting a training? What do you wanna get at the end of this, all right? When getting a training, Jessica, what skills do you want to learn? All right, when getting a training, Jessica, what date and time will suit you better? All right, is it weekends, is it on weekdays, is it mornings, is it night, is it at, uh, I don't know, in the afternoons? And what location is right for you? Is it going to the place? Is it online now? Is it like on the same company? Is it on another country? All right, so what I want you to do is, I want you to ask this question on training, all right? So what are you, like if you receive a training, what are your professional career goals? All right, what learning outcomes do you want to achieve when getting a training? What skills do you want to learn when getting a training? Okay, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes? Yes. yes? All right, very good. Okay, so I'm going to send you right now to your groups. And then you, you guys discuss about those questions, okay? Then we're coming back and I'll tell you what we'll do next.
Hi, Nubia. Hi, Nubia. Nubia, can you hear me? receive more training because I am uh, I work in education in my case and we in, yes in, uh -huh. in that in this time with the pandemic uh, we have to uh, adjust adjust adjust, adjust. Uh, to change the development of the education and I received a training but I need more and more and I want to learn and for that reason I want to one of my goal is to grow in trans in digital transformation to pass the uh, how do you say presencial? Like um, face to face kind of thing? Face. Face to face to digital. Mm -hmm. uh, in my uh, area of work is education. Okay. Silvita, you're I, a teacher? No, I work in administration, but it's, uh -huh. it's uh, I. Uh, I think the work of teacher is very, very busy, but in administration, we have to give a, a how do you say, an indication. A, a, I, uh, so we have to, to tell the teacher mm -hmm. what have to do okay. and what to do in, in to transform the Transform. transform the in scenario. How do you say scenario? It? Scenario, yeah. Scenario, huh? And okay. We have to do many uh, meetings about uh, discuss uh, this kind of, of things. Okay. And it's very very difficult. Okay. Thank you. Very good. All right. If I try to resume. The, the third one is you can mm. present different stages or sense uh, a different manager or 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 co-workers uh, sorry can you repeat please okay well learning of comes. Okay, what skill do you want to learn, Jesse? Uh -huh. uh, uh, the second one for me is, is what? It's about what? Because the, the translate of, of this uh, question is uh, the result, the result of the training. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Jesse. Hi. What skill do you want to Jesse, learn? Jesse, Jesse. 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 <laughs> the I other Jesse. Thinking, I am thinking because. <laughs> I'm sorry, Moises. <laughs> because Don't worry. <laughs> Yesenia. What is a training context? 
And what is the job that people have to have? And for me, the number three is what? What skill do you want to learn? Because it's a context. Um, the number four is for the number four, when? Because when is, is uh, the place. And the number four is what day I will you sweep you. For me, that is a when. Okay. And what location is right now? What location is right for you is when? Teacher. Know. Yes. Okay. Uh, we have to do is uh, to ask to to the other person. Uh huh. Uh, what are your professional career goals and right. all the sentence? Right. That right. Yes. Okay. Thanks. All right. So in this case, uh, Moises, you're supposed to ask. For example, just give me a second. You're supposed to ask. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. All right, you're supposed to ask like for uh, Irene and then Yesenia, like, okay, so for Irene, what are your professional career goals? What do you want to achieve? You know, what, uh -huh, what uh -huh. are your goals when you receive a training? What do you, what outcomes when you finish your training, what do you want to have learned? You know, like more uh, customer service skills, more um, problem solving skills, all right? What do you want to learn, all right? What date and time will suit you? Like, okay, no, I would like to take it on weekends, weekend mo like weekends, but morning, noons, or weekdays, and what location is right for you. For some people, it's better to stay in the same um, company, or like now, for example, you can say, oh, I'd rather online. I mean, the best location right now for me is online. Do you understand? Yes, yes, I right. understand. Thank you. Yes. I change my, my answer for the number one. Okay. <laughs> is what it is sorry, is is who? Yesenia has reason because uh, the first one is about uh, who to share the training. Mm -hmm. And the second one is uh, is is what? The number three for me is is who, because is I I want I want to learn, and the number four is um, is where, and the last one is um, no sorry the, the number four is uh, is when, and the number five on the last one is where. Okay, uh, it depends on the what 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 W is. I will ask you uh, from you, uh, Irene or Yesenia, in a personal opinion. What are your professional career goals? Okay, in my case, uh, Moises, uh, my professional career goals uh, for me is. Uh, to be uh, um, actualized, or I don't update, know. <laughs> update, to be updated. Uh, Idris? Updated. Updated. I, I updated. Updated. The up, the arriba. I dated the date. Ah, okay. I, I dated mm -hmm. uh, because uh, my costumes uh, um, are my, uh, the, the teenagers, the students, the participants, um, they need. Uh -huh. How do you say? Ten? Templates. Templates, yes. Serían las puntillas. Uh -huh. Yes, templates. Uh -huh. And uh, for example, whatever uh, page to, to Excel page to form with a. Uh, Include the, 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 for example, create, uh, I don't remember what you say, planilla. Ah, okay, uh, to create a, um, a payroll. Create uh, the database. Uh, a payroll? A payroll, yes. Payroll on a but database. 
-hmm. but you see you see the, the the program the excel program okay jennifer can i ask yes. you a question uh -huh. jenny jenny yes what what do you do in your yes. company what what do you do yeah what do you do in your company What do you do? ¿Qué hago? Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> what happened, Jenny? What happened? <laughs> uh, uh, my, my principal activity is a uh, test the, the, the patterns to the production. Okay. But I studied in my, in my chunk time and when I when I was teenager I study accountant mm. okay okay yes but uh, always I interested to use the, the many kinds uh, many kinds of tools mm. to create whatever things in computer okay well, um uh, some things I uh um teach how do you say uh estudio misma? Uh -huh. I, like yourself I believe I believe you are a I guess you are a self taught person. Uh -huh. Yes. Self teacher teacher. Yes. Is that the same like autodidacta? Yeah. Yes. Self taught. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Self. Jennifer, you are self? A self taught. Uh, self, self, the self, the my own self, self taught. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. Self taught. Okay. And uh, for example, in Excel, I practiced in the computer in the the company because the, the Excel have uh, the many instructions about the. The uh, how to create, how to create the, the, the for example, a uh, payroll, or in my case, I create the uh, many kinds of uh, measurements. Measurements. Uh, measurements. Yes. Uh, pages. Okay. To, mm. to, uh, how do you say teacher um, to, um, archivos? Files? Uh, files, but not virtual, just uh, 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 no virtual, you know, if not, um, uh, really in in there. Okay. Uh, I don't know. See, create the files to the old uh, styles to create in the company. Okay. And uh, I try to learning about the many many things to create opportunities in other areas, not just in, uh, in not only in, in my work. Wow. Yes, yes, awesome. I try to, to miscellaneous. Yeah, you're uh -huh. like, you're a handy lady. <laughs> yes. Handy lady, yes. Ah, yes. Yes. Okay, I had the same, I had the same spirit like you alone, maybe 10 years ago. Really, I Oscar? want to get yeah. back. What I want to, I want to get back from <laughs> that. Uh, <laughs> that uh, how to say the enthusiasm? That, uh, the enthusiasm. Enthusiasm. The enthusiasm. Uh huh. I All used right. to be like you, but now yeah. I'm kind of. What happened? I'm not. Why? I, <laughs> I have a, a, a lot of gears, but. Uh -huh. No. I try to maintain a. Uh, Occupate my it's mind. A, it's yeah. a lifestyle. It's yes. a lifestyle. Yeah, totally. yeah uh -huh. it's a lifestyle. Yeah. 
So Jennifer, you always keep busy, right, Jennifer? Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Yeah. All right. Very good. But yeah. I try to, because in this manner, I, I take the opportunities. For example, in my work, when mm. I begin in in this area, the manufacturing, uh -huh. I I work it. Uh, like a, a manual personal mm -hmm. sewing no uh -huh. manual Ma, na, okay. um, and, uh, how do handmade, you say hand hand handmade uh, hand handmade handmade mm -hmm. uh, uh, handmade inside the lines okay sewing but uh, when one boss uh, gives me the, the opportunity to, to grow up in, inside the company, mm -hmm. I take it. And for example, I learned about the, the quality process. Okay. And I take the opportunity to, to work to quality auditors oh. inside the lines and and all around uh, around the, the years uh other boss uh, give me the opportunities to uh, final auditors to exportations oh to export mm -hmm. okay to ex yes to export in around four years, uh, my 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 new my boss uh, this time uh, gave me the opportunity work in engineering area. Oh wow! Yes, and for for that reason, I try to in to I try to improve my knowledge. Mm -hmm and techniques mm -hmm. or whatever things to 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 use i to use the, uh -huh. the in my works in right. many kinds of areas uh -huh. not just you. one area yes yeah, i'm not wow. kidding jennifer super good for you jenny <laughs> <laughs> we are proud of you jenny very nice nice very good good for you all right, so keep it up like that, Jennifer, okay? Because you're still yes. young. Very good. All right, guys, we're going to go back. I'm going to take attendance a little earlier because I want you, uh, I want to uh, assign another task and then uh, you'll have time to like work on that, okay? okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Jennifer. Bye. Hello, hello. You guys can hear me? Hello, teacher. Yes, okay, thank you. All right, so I'm gonna share this with you guys so you guys can, we can actually talk about it quickly here. All right, let's see. Um, eh, Moises, what are your, your professional career goals, Moises? Uh, my professional career goals are to Continue growing up in my in my job. To continue growing and, in my job, okay. And always watching forward to me. All right, nice, interesting, very good. Okay, Williams, what are your professional career goals? I am not here. There is a record. Yes, of <laughs> course you're there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, the finally is uh, know all about uh, community development. Okay. All it right. is big, uh, a big topic. And my goal is know all about this. 
Oh, okay, interesting, very good. Okay, Jesse, your goal as a professional career, what are your professional career goals, Jesse? For me, I had a lot of goals. <laughs> the first goal is to time my level one in the Escalafon. All right, of course. And uh, okay. yeah. The okay. exam was clever. All right. And uh, the second one is continuing on great all theaters for continuous working and give quality and good service for the people. Okay, nice, interesting. All right, very good. Very good, thank you. Let's see, Henry, what is skills do you want to learn? When you take a training, Henry, what skills do you wanna what skills do you wanna learn? In my work I need a virus uh, because I work as receptionist and work as cashier. Okay. In the receptionist the so the more general is customer service. Right. But for math specifically is how solve with the personal with the people okay and the cashier maybe uh, i train that i want or i skill is the identify identify so, to identify uh-huh identify identify the bill okay so say also fake fake uh-huh identify the fake bills ah oh my goodness uh -huh. ah. yes i want to learn this cool Okay, nice, interesting. Norma, what skills do you want to learn? When you take a training, Norma, what skills do you want to learn? What do you look for? Okay, teacher, uh, I explained to Sylvia, uh, my career is industrial engineer. Right. And my mainly goals is uh, learning more for ergonomical training. Uh -huh. Because uh, I working with my, with a lot of people mm -hmm. working in the machinery okay. and development of a different method, mm -hmm. and when the people not not make correctly that method or the people not using correct the machinery or not using correct the the seat the chair, the people have a illness. Oh because it uh, make a, a bad position or a bad moment, movement. Movement, okay. It's movement yes. and development uh, a different illness in the arms or in the hands. Okay. And then the people uh, had a lot of uh, uh, disability days and affected day and the people because lost the, the productivity um, the productivity hours in the company too because lost that, that employee in different days. Okay. And the second one is for innovation okay. in the method to training. Oh, okay. Because we need to improve the method for reach the people learning very fast or invested a, a less uh, time to, to, to learn. Okay. And the, the third one is uh, development different tools to teach with computer because uh, we need to learn with the videos uh, the new methods. Okay. I explained to, to Sylvia uh, for this uh, quarantine, mm -hmm. the company couldn't work in normal products because the government, government had a restriction. Right. And permitted open the companies to sew a mask or a medical equipment uh, equipment right yes in the company uh, requirement to development the method to teach the 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 mask mm -hmm. and then i never make a mask really normal and i need to teach how to make to 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 learning and then the people teach another all the methods to make an, a mask. All right. And and we development that and then I I teach one engineer 
-hmm. and then I take a video for that, and with that videos sent to WhatsApp to the people, and the people teach with the WhatsApp, WhatsApp videos. Wow, really, Norma. Yes, and very, very interesting. And then right. uh, I notice I need to to learn more about that form to teach. Okay. And um, the third one, the second question, I hope to reach a better knowledge to improve my actual process. Okay. Because when you innov in, uh, innovate apply innovation mm -hmm. in your process, you be, uh, make better the the normal thing, okay. and you are more productivity and You're more productive. You okay. less the cost for the company. All right. So, Norma, that means that your company was making masks during this time? Yes, teacher. And I that, made uh -huh. a mask for the United States, and, and the company so, uh, sold in internet for Amazon. Oh, really? Yes. And also to, to make the mask for all the people working in the company, because every week the people need to change the, the mask every day and for the reason the company provide that in Zoom. Right, okay. So you were making many, many, many masks. Millions. <laughs> Hundreds. Yes, millions of masks. Wow, are you serious? Yes. What about Jennifer? Do you work in a, in a place like similar to Norma's? Yes, manufacturing. Right, okay. Yes. Uh -huh. The company and the quarantine have a mask too. All right, yeah. Okay, and I think also in Tradesa, uh, Gerardo also works there, and I think they were making those too. Wow, interesting. All right, very good. Now, guys, what about the time and the place? Do you think, would you like to have your trainings online now, or like only online, or would you still want to go to like receive the training somewhere? This is for anybody that wants to answer. We received the, 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 the trading for Linky. Uh -huh. The company, the company paid the platform for Linky and, mm -hmm. and they choose the training that people need to receive mm -hmm. in all the, the positions. And, uh -huh. and I received the invitation to, to make five hours or one hour so something time the, the training need to investment. And then I receive my certificate when I complete my my training. Oh, oh really? All yes. right. Okay. Now, do you think, guys, for you, would you like like Williams that you know that you said that you uh, like coffee and and bread? <laughs> now, would you mind taking your your trainings online, or you wouldn't really like them so much? Me, teacher. Um, in my case, I think in the both. Okay. Because some topic do you need to be presential? Because okay. make make some activities um, or some I don't know uh, therapies okay. that you have to be present. Okay. And another cases can be online. Mm -hmm because you can rest over time okay all and right that that good because because the work in the day is a lot of and for me it could receive the training in that time in the night because okay. i am alone don't have anybody bother me <laughs> Okay. okay. That's so good for me that that time. Right. This is the reason that I think in that the both way is good it's for okay. me. Oh, okay. Depending the topic mm -hmm. and the context that topic has. I get it. I see your point. So, Very good. Okay, thank you. And Williams, what about you? Would you rather online or always like face to face kind of training? I prefer face to face. <laughs> Especially for uh, coffee. I have coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's true. <laughs> no. Um, I prefer uh, 
face to face because uh, we have different um, tasks or different activities. Uh, we need to make a team, okay? Uh, we need to uh, teamwork. Okay. And, um, online, uh, I, I, I don't know, but uh, teamwork online, I think is not possible. <laughs> All right, okay. Yeah, it needs a big task, I think. All right, okay, very good. Henry, yes, you want to say something, Henry? Yes, teacher. I think it's online is more comfortable because I stay in the home. But when I see a training online, I have another problem with the connection. Sometimes yeah. it's wrong, I don't receive the training. Mm, right, yeah. I think online trainings, they got, I mean, they have pros and cons, right? And one of them is the connection. Sometimes it's, it gives you a hard time when you're trying to connect and everything or the audio, or it's raining whatever, or whatever not. All right, very good. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take the last attendance just for the ones that were not here, just to double check that if in case they got in, just give me a second here. I'm not gonna call everybody because I'm just calling the people that were not in to see just in case if they were able to get in at the end. Eric Mauricio Paredes Hernandez. All right, he was not in today. All right, uh, Eric Mauricio Perez, I mean, uh, Eric Alirio Perez Diaz, neither, right? He was not in. Then we had uh, Diana Gabriela Hernandez Morales. No, she was not able to get in. Andrea Maria Trabanino Alfaro. Nope. And we had uh, Guillermo Antonio Amaya Escobar either. He was not able to get in either. All right, very good. Guys, I'm going to send you to the, la to, to, uh, to the last activity of the night, okay? What I'm going to, this is what we're going to be working on. I'm going to send you right now to your groups and I'm going to get in to every single group, all right? Uh, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six or seven groups, about that. And I'm going to get in and I'm going to tell you a profession, all right? Nothing related to your profession, okay? And I want you to think, all right? the training that you think that this person would need all right or this profession would need so for example if i get into jesenia's group i know she's a teacher all right so i'm not gonna ask jesenia's group to think about the training a teacher would need because she's a teacher all right i'm not gonna get into norma's group and say okay uh think about a manager because i know norma is a manager all right so it's uh, like any other profession that we don't have here right now okay i'm not in your group so what i want you to think is okay what kind of prof what kind of training would a teacher need what kind of training would a chef need I don't, I don't think anybody here is a chef right no no chefs in the group excellent okay what kind of training a vet needs all right what kind of training a doctor needs all right so i want you to think about what kind of training they need all right, talk about it, all right? And then we are going to continue with that topic tomorrow and I'll tell you what to do tomorrow, okay? So right now, go to your groups because everybody's going to have a different profession. Every group has a different profession, okay? So I'm going to send you right now to your groups and just wait for me. I'll come around, okay? Let's go to your groups. Ah, for a lawyer. Right. Hi, guys. I'm going to tell Hi. you the, the profession I want you to work on, all right? Okay, okay. All right. So I want you to think about the training a teacher needs, all right? Teachers. Think about teachers. What do they need? What kind of training <laughs> they need, all right? Okay. <laughs> Bye. All right. Bye. <laughs> think about it, all right? Very good. Thank okay. you. We'll do. We'll do. You Hi, is Moises. Irene and Jesse, I'm going to tell you the profession I want you to think about, all right? And think about the training he or she needs, all right? Moises, where do you work? I live in the no. Cameroon. Oh, yeah, you work there, right? Okay, no, forget I it. work, I work, I work <laughs> in the Cameroon. All right, Sorry. so that's okay. Uh, I live too. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. 
So I want you to think about what kind of training would a secretary need? Not receptionist, secretary. Okay? Okay. Think about that. Okay. Like this the same profession for the three of you, okay? What kind of training okay. do they need? All right. Thank you. Okay. Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, Nubia. Hi, Nancy and Vero. Okay, I want you to think about what kind of training would a salesperson need? A salesman or a saleswoman, doesn't matter. What kind of training do you think they need? Okay, think about that, okay? Okay. Yes, thank you. Okay. One profession for the three of you, okay? Okay. okay. Uh, Hi. Uh, Hi. Silvita and Norma, I want you to think about what kind of training would a police officer need? Uh, we are choose a nurse. Ah, all right, okay, that's fine. Okay, work with right. a nurse, it's okay. Yeah, I had the nurse anyway, yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good, yeah, think about a nurse, that's fine. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Uh, hi, hi. Um, uh, Hi, Henry. Hi, Hi William. Hi, Jose Luis. Okay, I want you to think Hi. about what kind of training do you think a police officer needs? Ah, you are new. Ah, police officer. Ah, what, what were you <laughs> thinking officer. about? Police. Because uh, we, are, we, we are talking about the president. Oh, my uh -huh. God. Well, you know what? Even like <laughs> yes. that. Oh, that's good. Interesting. Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> think about the president. President. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. That's fine. Okay. Cool. Nice. I like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, it's so, uh, uh, the president speaks another uh, language. He describes the most. The patient use ventilation machine. Injection, uh huh, is, is the correct. The manual respirator, respirators, and another uh, took the um, pressure. No, uh, using the um, what to say the name for that uh, uh, tool. Uh, for which one? For which one, Norma? For, for uh, me, uh, when you need yeah. to make to measure the pressure, the 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 your heart pressure. Uh huh. How do you the, call it in Spanish? I don't even know how to call uh, it in Spanish. Medidor de presión. Ah, I don't know. I'm gonna find out. I'm not a. I, I'm not I a see. nurse. <laughs> <laughs> Using the 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 um, high, yeah, high pressure a high pressure machine i don't know Normita. i'm gonna find out Pero me puso tarea. <laughs> okay uh, the manual respirator respirator put the injections using the high pressure machine uh, thermometers using Because the thermometers are had a different uh, 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 for, for kids, for adults, uh, uh, digital and manual, uh, mercury. I don't know what to say in English. Mercury. Mercury. Uh -huh. uh, and you, thermometer using in different person. Another eh, one put um, cuando te ponen suer intravenosa. Ajá.
They have to receive training about illness. Solid, uh, liquid. Normita. Yes, teacher. You can say blood pressure device or uh, blood or high uh, pressure uh, kit. The both. Yeah. Both. Blood. Uh -huh. Blood pressure. This one? Uh huh. Pressure. Blood yeah. Pressure. Uh huh. Kit. In the no, eh, pre presure, eh, Norma, pressure. Presure. Mm -hmm. Blood pressure? Kit. Machine. No, kit. Kit, as in K-I-T, uh-huh. Or you can, uh-huh, kit. Or you can say blood pressure monitor. Cualquiera de los dos. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. If a digital right, uh huh, dietic dietetic. Yes. Uh huh. I wanna hear. What do I need as a training? <laughs> what <do you laughs> For example, uh, when the teacher teaching teaches to autists. Ah, this child. So you need like yeah. teachers would need like a special needs training. Training, yes. Special needs. All right. Okay. Interesting. About yeah. the techniques, they identify the the many kinds to autism okay. in the child. Okay. Yeah. A training about the yeah. the, the autism, autism spectrum. Okay. Uh, All right. Spectrum. Okay. And how to handle each type of autism. Yeah, as oh, yes. a challenge. And the <laughs> uh -huh. and children, teacher should should have a a, a passion, patience, passion, patience, patience, yes. patience, and passion. Both, yeah. both. <laughs> both of them. Both of them. <laughs> to this, uh, to this, uh, this kind of to shy. All right, it's to children. So difficult. Yes. Yeah, the children. Yes, yeah. it's so difficult. It is, it is, especially because they have their own uh, level of difficulty. Yes. All right. Okay. Very good. Any, any, anything else about teachers? About teachers? Mm -hmm. What are the kind yes. of trainings which teachers would need? Uh, for example, psychology training. Mm -hmm. Okay. Peda pedagogy training yes of Mot course motivational yes. training right motivational trainings yes motivational. you need to motivate <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> all right yeah. yeah because i don't understand when when one teacher doesn't have doesn't have patience with a child patience yes patience in with a child all right. Because this is the, the most important to teach mm -hmm. the child. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is now, do you think, Jennifer? And, yes. Do you think, Jennifer and Oscar, that a teacher needs to have the same skills teaching children than teaching adults? No. No? No. no it's different. Uh, yeah. Why? Why, Oscar? Because um, teaching. Uh, to children um, is uh, about how to handle them, right? How 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 to hold their their attention, right? Or to keep them <laughs> focused on, on a topic. Right. Uh, is is kind of different, and it's different. The I, I mean, you're not going to be so. Uh, you, with children, you have to understand that they, you have to, to, to take strategies, mm -hmm. strategies. I will say strategies. Right. Yes. Uh, uh, to, uh -huh, yeah. to have them concentrated for, for about 10 minutes, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> because they it. don't concentrate more than that. No. <laughs> uh -huh, maybe to have them concentrated for 10 minutes and how to, just to, it's amazing. Just to, to give an idea, it will mm -hmm. it will take maybe two hours for, for a teacher to, right. to give an idea to our children. 
Right. But for but for adults, uh, for adults, uh, it's different because uh, you have to to see like a background. Right. A background. So who you are teaching to? Right. Then you then then you start to teach uh, according to the to the training <laughs> to okay. the training <laughs> needs. Uh, context, <laughs> the training needs. Uh -huh. Right. Yeah. According to right. The training, but but uh, children. In general, you have to uh, uh, mount those uh, strategies. Right. Yeah. Uh, those strategies to 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 teach them. To teach them. Right. Uh -huh. Of course. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very good. We're gonna go back right now because it's time to go. Tomorrow we'll keep on talking about this. Uh, remember the profession that you got. Hopefully, mm -hmm. I mean Jennifer. I know is always in class, and so are you. So hopefully you guys are going to be together, all right? <laughs> all right. Okay, very good. Yeah. Thank you. All right, guys, we have to go right now. Please keep in mind the uh, keep in mind the profession that you got, okay? Hopefully we'll be able to work with the same people tomorrow on your groups. If not, that's okay. For example, Williams, and I think you were working with Jose Luis, right, Williams? Don't say your profession, Williams. It's a secret. All right? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so nobody says the profession, all right? So Williams, Jose Luis, and I think Henry, you were working the three of you, right? Yes. So yes. in case yes, you're not... Yes, yes. Okay. yes. Okay. Well, okay. William and Jose Luis. All right, very good. So in case you're not working tomorrow together, some of you will tell us the profession and the skills that you thought that profession would have I mean would need all right and the same thing for Oscar and Sylvia and everybody else all right so thank you so much guys for being with me tonight I'll bye, see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Bye. have a night bye. you too bye, bye. 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 thank you bye. 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 thank you bye, bye.